so you don't have much time. You gotta be quick, right? Get to the point. We got you. This movie, Shazam. A quick, uh, talk about it. Shazam 2 is like any other capes flick you like, I'm sure you will like it. It's about this young boy named Billy Batson that is also a superhero named Shazam that is trying to raise Wonder Woman and fight a bunch of goddess and dragon for some reason, but mostly raise Wonder Woman. A lot of things happen in this movie, I mean there's six superhero with the power of Dwayne Johnson fighting in the dome from the Simpson, but really it's this coming to age story of a young boy trying to back Wonder Woman. Like I'm not crazy, it's his character arc, right? Dude went from a simp having wet dream about her with the face of the sorcerer to literally risen his way into the Justice League. Well, start off. Shazam 2 is the movie you never knew you needed, but also that you didn't need. Liar! Where in order to save the world, the Shazam family used the only thing capable of taming the most dangerous mystical animal ever, Skettles to tame freaking unicorns, and save the world by tasting the rainbow. It's the ultimate product placement movie that somehow managed to be worse than the Basket Robins of Ant-Man, and better than the Krispy Kremes of Power Ranger. Don't you dare disrespect Basket Robin and Ant-Man, you son of a bitch. It wasn't Spider-Man 1, man. It's a classic. So if you were waiting for a big crossover between The Rock, Black Adam and the Shazam family, DC did even better. Watch out Endgame, this is the biggest crossover of all time. Shazam 2 is the story of a kid that turned into a superhero. Basically, a little kid dream come true. There's also a lot of weird sexual energy coming from a god that is 500,000 years old and like she's falling in love with a kid. Am I really a concept of a hentai? Anyway, it seems to try to continue the theme of family by talking about what's next when you find them and it's about like learning to trust them, to let them grow. There's also a huge skittle ad in the middle of the movie. And I'm not kidding, like what? Like it's so weird, like imagine if I like put an ad in this video like out of nowhere. Great channel legend. So that's about it guys. Don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe if you liked the video and want more video like those. Thanks for watching. And yeah, if you made it that far into the video, you pretty much have to subscribe. Like it's a role that YouTube has. If you don't subscribe now, well, it's just me and you. But if you don't subscribe, that says a lot about you. I personally, I would subscribe. It's over Anakin. I have the high ground. And also Skittle. Mmm, there's the rainbow. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on